Today is a great day in the history of our country and in the history of the church. The Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, young boy, grew up in the airport residential area. His father was ambassador. He was born to a large family. His father had many, many children, and he struggled through life uh, just to find space and to find uh, his feet and to find his occupation. The young boy, Duncan Williams, was all over Accra and was, got to know all the nooks and crannies of the city. Every ghetto, he was aware of it. He would join himself in the nightclubs, enjoyed himself all over, and, and living the life of young people. And then the Lord laid hands on him, very similar to the experience of, in Damascus of the great apostle Paul, who wrote the New Testament and gave us a lot of the narratives about Christianity and about Jesus Christ that we talk about. It was written by Apostle Paul. The circumstances of the spiritual arrest of Apostle Paul into the ministry, the circumstances of the spiritual containment of Nicholas Duncan Williams into the ministry are similar. And Nicholas Duncan Williams then blazed the trail. He went to Nigeria to study under the, the leadership and tutelage of Benson Idahosa, the famous and the Hundios Archbishop of Nigeria. Benson Idahosa was very, very feared in Nigeria and across the world in those days. Idahosa set up a Bible school that raised many people uh, after him. Duncan Williams was certainly one of them and certainly one of the favorite sons of, uh, of the distinguished Archbishop Benson Idahosa. Duncan Williams broke the trail in Ghana with the charismatic church that came in at the time that the Orthodox had been long established since independence. It was difficult for people to break away from the Orthodox church or at least to allow their children, teenage children and young adults, to break out of the established um, conservative churches to join the new charismatic church. Before then, there had been the church history of Ghana, what they call the, um, the Sunsum Sori, and what they used to do was to apply uh, folder water and, uh, and holy water and all of that. They introduced those things into the worship to solve people's problems. Uh, their, their, their lifespan was short-lived. They were heavily criticized. At that time, we had the military junta in power. They sent BNI people to the folder water churches and to make sure that they closed them down. Some of them were doing really horrible things at the time. And so there was a clamp down against these churches. It was within that context that Duncan Williams began a new movement, the charismatic movement. He started with setting up the Christian Action Faith Ministries in his father's house at the airport residential area. There he was able to attract young students, including what we see today as the leaders of the charismatic mission, Robert Ampia Kofi, Doug Heward Mills, Eric Quapon, and all of these guys uh, from the universities went to Duncan Williams' church. And uh, he deployed them in various ways as evangelists, as uh, people who went, evangelists went out to preach. He deployed them in music. He deployed them in many, many ways. And all of them out of the various deployments that the Papa groomed them have today become pillars on their own within the context of the charismatic church. They still do recognize the Papa as the key father of the charismatic movement. Tonight, it is important that we pay tribute to this great man on his 65th anniversary. And I have been a beneficiary of his anointing. I still continue to benefit uh, from Papa's anointing. There are many, many things that he has told me. There are many times that he has shared his time with me in prayer. And there are many times that he has deployed his forces of prayer to work with me. It was through Papa that I got to know amazing prophets like Gideon Danso and others. All of them deployed to help me with prayer. Papa is a great man. He's a great father. And tonight, we cannot but celebrate him at 65. Nicholas Duncan Williams, God bless you for the work that you have done. God continue to bless you. And we know that even at 65, there's still a lot more to achieve. And as you continue to age in glory and in grace, we know that one day, your eyes will see the vision that you set out to achieve in the 70s to make Africa a soil and a culture, a context dedicated to the service of God. Duncan Williams, happy birthday.
Thank you.